Hello, it's January the 4th and I wanted to do a video about uh, what, what we can do as radio amateurs during the times when propagation on the uh, radio bands is, is low and there is very little activity going on. It's, it, it's not a time for turning your radio off. It's, it's a good time for looking at what else you can do with the equipment. And one of the one of the interesting activities that you can do on HF is the weather fax, we fax. It's a system that's been going around for many years, uh, using um, same as the fax machine. So uh, data being sent over the airwaves that is then uh, printed out uh, into an image. I'll put a link below as well to give a bit more detail about, about WeatherFax. But you can uh, reuse your existing HF um, equipment and using software like FL Digi, you can basically tune in to that frequency, let your computer run and uh, FL Digi will decode that data and print that out into um, weather maps. Weatherfax is still used uh, for people out at sea who maybe haven't got internet connection but using radio can actually uh, record uh, weather forecasts. So it's still uh, in use today. Um, these transmis transmissions are anything between 25 and 20 kil kilowatts. So with a, with a average antenna you can pick up the transmissions now, the problem that I've got is my current setup at home is not, is not that efficient um, below 40 metres. So what I'm hoping to do, to do this morning is to actually temporarily rig up um, an inverted L for 80 metres. This may also give me 80 metres for uh, HF contacts as well. I don't know yet, I'll, I'll, I'll experiment. So I'm going to, I've got some equipment and some spare wire. Uh, what I may do is patch the inverted L into my existing DX Commander Lite system um, <clears throat> and see if I can put up an inverted L radiator um, and patch that in and see if I can pick up a better transmission because my current transmission that I'm, I'm collecting, the quality is quite low. So I suspect it's because my antenna um, isn't uh, efficient enough um, below 40 meters. So um, yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and rig up a temporary uh, um, wire antenna for 80 meters and see what we can get on the Wefax. So I um, put this bracket onto here very lightly and um, just bolt this in so it's sturdy. I've used this uh, pole numerous times out, portable, it's an old pole now. The, uh, the wire I've just patched into the, uh, into the DX Commander. Uh, 
radiator plate. This is the um, this is the back garden. It's quite a small garden, so uh, whatever I, I do in here needs to be quite friendly. But uh, I've got the I don't know if you can see the wire, but uh, let's go up, 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 up. up. Uh, I've got the wire. It's coming down and it's attaching to a wooden shed behind uh, this metal shed here. So it's higher than the, the rooftop, next door's rooftop, which is not ideal. I wanted to try and be low key about it, but we'll see how we get on. <clears throat> Okay, that's not bad. The um, SWR is <clears throat> um, almost one to one on the lower part of the 80, 80 meter band, and then uh, just below two to one on the higher portion of the band. So um, the, the the wire that I used was twenty meters, or just over twenty meters, I think. Um, which is a, a good size um, quarter wave for the 80 meter band. But at least we know we've got um, we've got an antenna for um, uh, picking up our resonance uh, on the 80 meter band. So hopefully, okay. Okay, well, there's definitely an improvement in the reception strength of the uh, with the signal. Um, <clears throat> we're getting um, uh, an S nine now on the uh, on the meter, whereas before I think it was only about an S three or four. So it's definitely made an improvement. However, the the quality of the image uh, is not as defined as I thought it was going to be so I need to investigate a little bit more how to improve that because I'm getting a better signal coming in and I'm sure it's a clean signal I need to double check that I've got the exact right frequency and then also within um, FL Digi there's two modes of refax um, so almost like they're like bowed rates of some type so I need to investigate a bit more, but that for for half an hour's work, I um, and the bands are pretty quiet at the moment. I've I've managed to uh, rig up um, the inverted L. It's it it pretty much in tune on eighty meters, um, uh, but it's, it's allowed me now to uh, play around with uh, Wefax. So. Um, that's some fun for today. I'm going to play around a bit more and see if I can get a better signal coming in or a better way of decoding it. Um, but yeah, uh, happy days. It's fun. Fun stuff to do when uh, there's nobody around on the bands. Um, I'm getting images coming through about every 10 minutes. So uh, even just doing recording this video, I've now got another image being transmitted. So... Uh, you don't, you don't have to wait long um uh, you don't have to wait long before you get a transmission on this uh, refax and uh, if you're finding this useful as well as some of the other videos please can you subscribe um drop some comments in uh give me a thumbs up on on the videos as well it's, it's really helpful so ta-ta for now and uh yeah we'll see how we get on with more of this refax